Becky is going to be joining me very soon and we're heading off to get some brunch. <laughs> <laughs> Reunited with Jackie. It has been four, four months, months since oh I've seen gosh. this girl. Currently on our way to brunch, heading to a place called Paramount Coffee Project. Mm -hmm. We went here together like what three, three years, years ago? ago? Three years mm -hmm. ago. on toast and an avo toast right here. I'm very ready to begin. <laughs> brunch and we are now heading to Darling Square. There's a new library that opened there and we want to check it out because we need <laughs> we to get in with the time. We know? literally have no reason to go to this library but it's new and we want to check it out. So that's what we're going to do. We like never went to libraries when we were in uni. Yeah. So. Hot today, guys. If anyone else has an iPhone 11 Pro, does your phone overheat when you take photos? Or is it just because we took too many photos? I think we took too many photos. <laughs> <times. laughs> finished checking out the library. We're done. We're done. <laughs> it's just a library. <laughs> if you guys are wondering what we came to the library for, we don't really know either. <laughs> we just came because it's here. Yeah. So now we're gonna go downstairs and explore Darling Square again. I found a shop front that I'm matching with guys. Currently in the middle of Tumbalong Park. Mm -hmm. We came here for this like giant inflatable thing you guys can see behind us. But there's so many people and it's too sunny and too windy for us to wait in line for it. So update you guys later. We had enough of the sun and the wind outside. <laughs> and so we came to Roji Ice Monster to continue eating instead. The menu looks so cute. What are we gonna get? Guys! We got our dessert and it is so cute. I hope I don't drop it. Ta -da! We got our ice monster and we're going to take some photos now. <laughs> we finished taking our awkward photos. <laughs> and we're gonna dig in now. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Ooh. got back home and um, it's actually uh, 6 p.m. already so I'm gonna have to cook dinner soon. I feel like aside from eating, I haven't done anything else today. I just spent the entire day catching up with Jackie since we hadn't seen each other for like four months maybe. Even though we're both in the same city, <laughs> we've just been really busy, especially Jackie since she's working like every day now. So yeah, it was good to catch up. I am going to go cook dinner now because girls gotta eat <laughs> let's go just uh, putting on my apron it is so hot today i just turned on the aircon but 
it's not working yet so if I'm sweating my face off that's the reason why okay first of all we gotta make the rice <laughs> Just got the rice cooking and it is now time to prepare the vegetables. Let's see what we have today. I don't really know what I'm cooking today because these are just random vegetables. But um, I guess we will have to do an assortment of Asian vegetables, tofu, and uh, got some meat here. Let's see what we can whip up, shall we? <laughs> dinner and change into my PJ pants <laughs> I got a new projector recently and I have been so obsessed with playing with it it's like a mini cinema inside my room so I'm gonna go plug this in it is up and running just going to rearrange this a bit Let me turn the light off. Yay! I have my projector set up. Do you guys see it? Ta -da. <laughs> I'm now going to pick what I want to watch. I think recently I've been super, super into um, what's it call it? X Factor auditions. They are so addicting to watch. And I really like watching the bad auditions, like when the contestants suddenly fight on screen, like Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite auditions right there So I think I'm going to play some of those Okay, let's get this set up Here we go We are up and running Chloe, where are you from? From at Leeds Wakefield. How old are you? I'm 19. 19. Chloe, why are you here today? I'm a pop star then, I'll be alright. <laughs> Watching one of my favorite Chinese dating shows called Fei Chang Lan Mei. I don't think there's an English name for it, but in case you guys were wondering, the brand of my projector is JM Go and it's their G7S model. 
Highly recommend. In the road, I'm looking for myself. You're looking for me. I just finished one episode and I kind of feel like doing an Instagram live. I'm gonna start an Instagram live. Hi! <laughs> Annyeong! Hi, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. How are you guys? Do you guys want to say hi to the vlog? <laughs> what were your plans for today? Today I had brunch with a friend. <laughs> Psycho is really good. Nice comeback, Yuri Dokken. <laughs> How do you learn Korean? What lots of Korean drama? <laughs> Guys, I just finished my Instagram live. That was so fun. <laughs> it's currently 12 09 and I should probably go wash up and get ready for bed now but before i ended this vlog i just wanted to quickly talk about something that a lot of you guys have been messaging me about as well and that is the australian bushfires so i'm really grateful for you guys who are thinking of me and asking me if i'm okay and i just wanted to say that i'm completely totally fine where i live i'm not that close to the forest and the bushlands so the fire doesn't really come near me so I'm very safe but sadly there's a lot of people who aren't as fortunate as I am a lot of people especially farmers who are having it really rough right now they've lost their properties all their livestock and all of their crops as well like half a billion animals have lost their lives in the bushfires and it's just really heartbreaking to see all the photos and videos especially of the koalas that just have burns all over their bodies even in today's live some of you guys were asking how you could help out and i'm really glad you asked because underneath this video i'm going to be linking a series of sites that you can visit that you can possibly make a donation to one of them is going to be the rfs the rural fire service so many of the firefighters in fact the majority of the firefighters helping to fight the fires right now are volunteers so they're not getting paid and they're just doing it out of the goodness of their heart and risking their lives too so yeah one of the links will be to the rfs another is going to be the australian red cross who are helping families who have lost their homes in the fires there's also going to be links to organizations that are helping with the animals so for example wires and koala sanctuaries etc where it's actually possible for you to adopt a koala our koalas are becoming endangered species because so many of them have lost their lives in the fire and the ones that did survive are suffering from extreme burns on their body so these organizations are all helping to treat rescue and rehabilitate these these koalas i think it's about 40 australian dollars a year to adopt a koala and you can basically help to support that koala for life there's so many options and so many ways that we can all help out and i really believe every dollar counts so if you guys did want to help out and provide a little support to the australian bushfires then i will have links to all these amazing organizations in the description box down below that you guys can check out but uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching again and i will see you guys in the next one bye